Hello, I am back. I know I always say this every single time. It's probably like the third time I've used this line again, or every single time I make a video, it's always like, I'm back, which I apologize for. It is partially my fault, but I also think it's life. But yeah, basically in conclusion, I am back. <laughs> so this was a very spontaneous decision, like to take this video, it was very spontaneous, not planned at all, but I saw it as something that was necessary and something that would actually help you guys. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Timbi Maseko and I am currently now a fourth year med student. The last time you guys saw me, I was still a third year med student. I'm now 21 even, like, yo, y'all, it's been so long. <laughs> so before the month ends, I wanted to grace you guys with my presence and just give you a young video on something that actually I think is necessary around this time and something that um yeah that came because people kept on asking me about this so i was like you know what let me make a video about it i think it would really be helpful so you guys should share it with your people um and like and subscribe and comment and everything um but yeah basically though i'll give a proper life update when i am properly settled and i really have planned everything out because i want you guys to get the best of the best if i'm gonna make a video that's why i stopped because i was like yo i don't think i can give you guys quality content especially last year time everything everything it just got a lot and i think i bit on to sorry i bit onto more than i could chew so then it ended up being a whole thing and i was just like yo i need a break from um making my videos because i just yeah i was really exhausted generally like if i'm being honest last year i was really exhausted i didn't have the energy nor time to do everything i thought i could i thought i was superwoman but life was like no so yeah but this year i am going to try and be different school is a lot this year it's a bit more hectic than last year but i'm not only involved in like being house committee etc etc so i kind of do have more time to myself than i did last year um relatively speaking so yeah i'm gonna start creating content again we're gonna start doing um youtube things check out my instagram though my instagram is really active i'm really active on instagram um here on youtube it's a bit um different it's a bit different to make videos here and stuff because it's longer videos and it takes more editing but otherwise though i am back to just yeah give you guys a, a glimpse of life and me just once you know because it's been a while i'm sure you guys missed this face <laughs> so basically today i am going to be breaking down what exactly you guys need when you come to varsity especially when you're going to rest um i've had about a number of people i'm not gonna say a lot of you have asked i'd be lying i've had a number of people just ask me like hey how can i prepare when i'm coming to rest what should i buy um uh what should i expect you know etc 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 so i'm gonna break it down to you i think i'm gonna like it's like basically breaking down what you need yeah let me say that what you need in terms of like what to buy when you're going shopping for your first year in race especially at up i'm gonna speak from my experience um unfortunately i did not get to live in different types of accommodations i've been living in this race for four years now or three years going to four years now so i'm gonna give you what i experienced and kind of tell you about other races because i kind of did get exposed to them last year when i was hc but i don't know a lot about like how they operate or how they work so with that i would advise you to just to just ask the people who do live in private accommodations etc etc but i think it's the basic concept or the same um basic concept it's just that there's a few there's like one thing that's pretty much different from all of us um or two things like it's not that much of a big difference but these are the things that i think you basically need as a person but like i said if you are going to live in an accommodation rather contact the people who live there and find out from them what exactly they offer because obviously i don't i haven't lived in every single student accommodation that is out there but yeah let us get right into it i know but was that <laughs> so as usual i do plan my things like i said that's why i just don't go around posting videos so i did ask people on instagram to help me out like in case i forgot anything or forget anything so i made it i compiled the list i compiled everything for you guys and at the end of the video i will put it up again just so that you get the summary of everything but i'm just gonna like elaborate why exactly you need these things etc 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 so you can know if you really need to buy them or is it like a thing of okay if i want to buy them you know because sometimes you don't have the budget like i know for me it took when did i finally get everything i have now even now i'm still buying more things for my room so it's a thing of like 
you eventually you see that oh i actually need this too i need this too but if you can i would advise you to get as much things as you can now and that way you can avoid um having to buy things later on and you can save a lot of money okay it kind of is the same thing because you can spend the same amount of money but you know what i mean like as in you can get that out of the way and just know that you're done with it um for now then you can add on like little little things every single year um to make this more of a home for you because one thing i would advise or one thing i've realized is that this is going to be the place that you're going to spend most of your time in, especially with online school and covid and everything it's no longer a thing of like i'm coming here to just sleep it's where you're gonna sit it's where you're gonna hang out with your friends it's where you're gonna um pray you're gonna <laughs> you basically spend most of your time in your room at this point especially with covid so you want it to be the place where you feel most most comfortable most relaxed most at home in so i would really 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 advise you to make it as homey as possible but i'm going to tell you guys the things that people suggested and it also adds into it like how you can make the room just more of a home than like a place where i just come to sleep and that's that you know firstly uh a fridge buy a fridge so with fridge okay basically let me just did like a fridge microwave your toaster your kettle and your um a two plates or whatever if you do live in a restaurant you're allowed to cook i live in a restaurant i'm not allowed to cook so i don't have a two plate um people did advise that maybe an air fryer uh i think it would work with us i think we are allowed to have an air fryer so you could use that instead of like having a two plates etc etc um so those are like appliances i would highly recommend you to get like for me literally i think a fridge a kettle a microwave and a two plate stove are in need like you need those you'll really struggle with food and stuff like that if you don't have these in my opinion um because you need to store things in a fridge i know in our list for example there's communal fridges but i personally prefer a personal fridge because i get to have my own stuff in my fridge and it's right here in my room so i can literally just walk up to it and like use my stuff i would recommend buying a big big fridge so in first year i didn't know that we were allowed to get like those nice big tall fridges because they yo, is fridges even a word do you say fridge i think fridge i don't think i think it's like <laughs> yeah i think you're allowed to or you are allowed to get those big fridges <sighs> i keep on saying fridges. okay you're allowed to get a big fridge basically um but i got a small one because i thought that's how much like when they gave us the list of what we should or could get or what we're allowed to have because they before we came our race i like, compiled the whole document where we got to see what you need what you can get what you're allowed to have what you're allowed to not have so that was really nice and very helpful to have um but then i didn't know that you could get one of those bigger fridges <laughs> bigger fridges so i got the small one instead the bar fridge which i it's okay like it works but i would say if you can get a big one get a big one not a double door um so yeah get a fridge get a microwave microwaves it really doesn't matter like get a nice microwave whatever you want it's it's cool but just get a microwave uh a toaster i got that personally for myself because i love toasted bread i'm always the person who has toasted bread smelling in her room because i love that but it's not really a need like if you don't you don't need it it's not one of like the needs but like it's like it's great to have a kettle i think is a good investment to have you never know when you're gonna need hot water whether it's for tea water uh or whatever you never know maybe the geezer is down or whatever and now you need warm water to wash your face or whatever like, i don't know like you never know so having a kettle i think is a good thing and then also yeah so those are like the appliances main appliance oh and an iron and an ironing board because uh yeah you need to iron <laughs> you need to have an ironing board to iron your things on so that's another thing you should probably get and then get a bucket a mop a broom and your cleaning detergent things so with most races i don't know about other um private accommodations or the races and stuff like that you don't they don't clean your room they clean the corridors and the rest but your room is your own responsibility so get a mop get a bucket get a broom get your scoop get everything you need to clean because um a clean place you know it's really good to just study in a clean place i know i function best in a clean place um so yeah yeah get yourself a vacuum if you if you want to if you like have because i have carpets too but i can only like thoroughly wash them when i go home because i don't have the things here but you can get yourself a vacuum if you can uh but it's not really in, like a need and then pillowcases bedding um a laundry basket and yeah okay i'm gonna stop there so get yourself a pillowcase um basically like a, a bedding set i think two is the best 
number to get because you want to wash and interchange sometimes sometimes you don't like how it looks anymore etc etc decide on a theme for your room like one thing i would recommend is having a theme for your room it helped me a lot like i chose blue as my theme of my room and everything i buy is blue and it blends in with everything and that way i don't have to redecorate my room every single time i buy new items or a bedding set or whatever i just use the things that i have um so yeah buy like two bed buy pillows Get loads of pillows for your bed, okay, if you can. You don't have to, but I honestly personally enjoy that because firstly, when I am very tired, I can just buy on those pillows and my bed and it's, um, it's like the most comfortable thing. Um, and then uh, sometimes it looks pretty it's aesthetically pleasing too. Uh, but yeah, you don't need to, but you you can. It's a nice thing to have. Okay, a laundry basket, please buy a laundry, buy a big one because you never know when you're going to be able to do laundry. And I think it's just irritating as not having that specific laundry basket. Not because you don't wash clothes. Like for example, me, um, I wear my scrubs every single week. Okay, that has helped to decrease the number of items I have. But I know in first year, you have a lot of casual clothes every single day. Um, you never know what's going to happen to each item. You're going to be washing things left, right and center. And because the laundry rooms are normally busy, you never know when you're going to get the opportunity to actually go there and wash your clothes and like etc 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 basically so get a nice laundry basket that goes with your room aesthetics but also can take in a lot of clothes next you have in the list is like cutlery and crockery you should probably get crockery being plates mugs etc 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 get those things i would recommend getting them in multiples if that makes sense um maybe like two plates or three plates two or three bowls um and then three side plates and mugs get lots of mugs and, and glasses that that you will use a lot i use mugs okay no i actually don't use them a lot anymore but like in winter you do use them a lot for tea coffee etc 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 you just never know so have them and also i know that like when you guys hang out with your friends and stuff like that you never know you know they'll come through and then you can have coffee with them or you can have whatever and it's nice to have those things and cutlery buy gang loads of cutlery <laughs> So I know that in first year, I lost so much cutlery because um, we order food from our cafeteria and like, I don't normally take the cutlery there or buy the cutlery there because I have my own. So I take my food to my room and I have my own cutlery. But then sometimes you forget and you leave the cutlery in the takeaway carton and you throw it away. <laughs> then you your cutlery. <laughs> and also it's just good to always have extras. But basically, yeah, um, buy multiples of those. I would recommend like buying two or three for yourself. If your mom asks you why, be like, you just never know, you know. I know I bought like one in first year and... Mm, it didn't work but luckily i got a lot of mug gifts like i got a lot of mugs actually from people as gifts but but it's better to be safe and just buy your own stuff um that really did help a lot and then next up on the list i would recommend buying like those things that like storage things cartons i don't know what you call them but like you know like those plastic things where you can put sugar milk and stuff like that or you can put cereal and dispensers i think that is really cool i had one of my friends 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 um lucia you know yourself she came through um to my room and she was like you know or she came through to rest and she checked it out and she was like you know it would really help to declutter things because um i realized with like rest you end up putting things in a lot of boxes and that doesn't look good sometimes so i would really highly recommend buying those things but it's not like a need once again i mean i got my things this week for my milk and stuff i hadn't had them since first year and i was like yeah it looks so cool and i have this nice um cupboard thing cup cardboard oh my gosh no cupboard a cupboard thing a small little cupboard thing and it looked really weird at the top with like weird under mugs there so i just bought those things so it looks a bit better but that's like not a must once so i say it. once again it's not like a, a thing you need to have it's more like you know it would help you um if you can get it get it and then next you have shower flip-flops so this is something that nobody tells you about here until like later on you only discover this later so we share showers here at rest i know with some private student accommodations even with some races like postgrad races here at up even some undergrad you get your own shower but the chances of you getting a shower for yourself in first year, especially with like Kralitia and most of the races that are in Hadfield, are very slim. So buy shower flip-flops. You don't want to be stepping on those shower floors with your bare feet. Because what the heck? You never know what infection you're going to be getting there, what bacteria you're going to be coming into contact with. So have those flip-flops, please. Because it's, it's just unhygienic in my opinion. So yeah, do not step with your bare feet there. Bare feet there. So yeah, that's just please please but those are a need it's not even like a choice buy them because come on you don't want to be stepping on surfaces and then um buy doom or 
things to kill pests because pests are a problem i'm not gonna lie like i've seen even in private student accommodations like pretoria hadfield whatever i don't know maybe other races are better but i know with ours and some um student accommodations i've been to they really also have cockroach problems yes they fumigate like if you ask your building coordinator they can come and fumigate but honestly it it helps uh, but it doesn't really sort the problem out so you have to have a doom in hand or have some sort of thing that you use to um take pests or kill pests or whatever because it's, it's really disgusting it's annoying it's irritating i i'm not a fan of bugs personally so it really annoys me and makes me very paranoid when i'm in my room and i i see a cockroach or something like and it's not because it's not clean because i clean my dustbin every day i wash my dishes i never let them sleep um and my room is generally clean all the time so it's not a thing of like your room is dirty it's like they're just there it's a thing it's a thing it's a pandemic on its own <laughs> it's a whole pandemic in races so that i would definitely say buy that and then um have a, a bin you must buy like a nice small little bin because yes there are bins in the corridors i don't know about other races but i know with our races i don't know about other tax races but in Kalitsia yeah, we have like bins in every corridor but i don't want to be getting out of my room every single time i have to throw something away yes yeah, so when it comes to food items i do throw them in the big bin because i don't want the cockroaches to do things in my room but when i'm throwing away a piece of paper or something i don't want to have to always get out a nice small bin is very convenient a study lamp i would highly recommend buying a study lamp i bought a study lamp in second year yeah because first in my room i was like because the thing is you do get a study lamp in your room exhibit a but you never know how your room is going to be set up because i normally do not like the setup of the room that originally is in the room when i move in so i normally move my stuff around and it ends up like my study table is not under the study lamp but basically um the study lamp might never be under or your table might not be below the study lamp and also you don't want to be limited by it because that also sucks having to coordinate your room because of a study lamp <clears throat> it ends up really limiting how what you can do with your room and how spacious it can be uh so i would highly recommend buying a study lamp it's just making it makes things more convenient and allows you to set up your room any way you want to um this is credit here, by the way this is me referring to credit here, but i think in other races too they also have study lamps like that are on the wall but you can't move them so then you end up being limited to putting a study table just under that place and that determines where everything else in your room goes and, and that can mess things up like your room will feel so weird because if my study table was there it would literally be next to my fridge and my microwaves and that's weird like those wouldn't have worked so study lamp is really cool and also it helps me to just um yeah you can also like do kind of control like how bright you want your study light to be or white lights you know warm lights etc etc so that that's a nice thing i think it's a need i don't know it's not like you'll die without it but it's a very 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 convenient thing to have it's one of those things i've list between like it's not a need it's not a want it's more like in between it's good to have it it's really good to have it but you don't you won't die if you don't have it but it's really good to have it and then um a fan and a heater please buy a fan and a heater no one told me pretoria was this hot i come from a really cold town so when i came to pretoria especially now because it's still summer when i came to pretoria it was hot it was hot 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 pretoria is hot um so i needed to buy a fan I remember I bought a fan on the first day that I moved in here, like while my mom and dad were moving me in, they had to go buy a fan because it was really hot, I wasn't going to survive. So buy a fan, buy a heater. Um, honestly, I'd say buy the fans that are like, the, that stand on the floor. I have the ones on the table, but I'd say buy the ones that stand on the floor and that way you can put it anywhere in your room and it's just, you know, it's, it's more convenient for you. But also if you can only afford, or even if you can get the small one that's also chilled, I mean, I've survived with it for three years, I am okay. Cause normally the times when I feel really hot is when I'm studying because your academics, they are showing me flames. <laughs> So I need to cool down, but um, I would prefer having one of those, the ones that stand on the floor, basically. And then a heater, winter does get cold. Um, I know with us, we are allowed to have fan heaters only because of the way our building is and because it's prone to fires, etc., etc. We're not allowed to have those bar heaters. You only allowed to have fan heaters. Uh, but you must ask your people at the residence, your haka or whoever, and they'll let you know what you're allowed to have. But fan heaters are also just as good as bar. Okay, no, I'm lying. Bar heaters are much warmer. But fan heaters do the job too. Um, yeah, buy one of those ones. Um, but basically, get yourself a heater. 
winter it's something that you will need in winter because it does get cold not too cold not like northern hemisphere ice snow etc cold but it does get cold and you don't want to always be wearing warm clothes every day every day in your room you know even though it's winter it doesn't mean you have to wear winter clothes if you have a heater but yeah and then get yourself a nice cupboard i think a cupboard is a really good thing to get so in my room i got one and I got this other casket thingy sort of to store things in. But sometimes you don't get it. This is Kodetia though. Um, in other races, I don't know how it works. Uh, which is why I think it's better to get yourself a cupboard. Get yourself a nice little cupboard to just store things. Because it's not cute when your plates are just sitting outside there. Um, and also, yeah, it helps you just declutter your room, in my opinion. Like, get a cupboard to help you declutter. Um, and have things organized on spaces. And just not everything outside and bare because it, it, it looks it doesn't look right um so i highly recommend getting a nice little cupboard it doesn't have to be like a big one if you can't get a big one if you can only afford like those small little ones that go next to beds that's also fine um yeah just get a cupboard um uh, uh, yeah like you might not have a place to actually put these things and you can't put them on a study table because that's the only one i'm sure the university always provides in every single residence or every single student accommodation has a study table but you can't put your stuff there I know other student accommodations, especially if they have a kitchen, etc. You'll get a, a kitchen with everything, you know. And I know that most student accommodations have bookshelves in them, and you can get that. But you know, putting your plates on a bookshelf with your books, it looks a bit off. So I would highly recommend getting like a nice little cupboard to store it in. And then a vascom, guys. I don't know what you all call it in English, but you know those dishes, those really big, nice. Um, plastic dishes those ones get yourself them because you just never know like you never know when you're gonna use it like yeah i got one and it has been very helpful um i use it for sometimes washing my clothes sometimes my hair when i wash my hair i don't want to go to the bathrooms because it's a lot of work i just wash it in those vascoms and keep on washing and everything but we have a basin in our room so that's why it's so easy for me to wash my hair in my room um yeah basically that's that and then also you can get yourself a rug and comfy chairs where you can sit on like basically make your your room a home rugs i would highly recommend because you sometimes want to walk barefoot in your room and the wood can sometimes be really uncut okay i don't like walking on not or walking barefoot on surfaces that have no rugs on them i don't know why it's my it's a me thing it's not because of whatever it's a me thing like i feel more comfortable walking barefoot on rugs so i have rugs all over my room like under my study table there's a nice comfy fluffy rug and next to my bed there's a really big um fluffy rug and that's because i know i'm mostly barefoot when i'm in those two areas i used to have a big big carpet in the past but you're cleaning that carpet is so much work so i took it back home and i was like nah i don't want it anymore because every year it's a struggle to clean that carpet <laughs> so yeah um uh, but rugs really help to make a room feel warm and feel more like a home so i would really say invest in rugs like for me totally worth it even when you're coming back from like showering and whatever like you're standing on the floor can feel uh, and having flip-flops on it's, it's a lot of work like i don't know i like being barefoot or walking around barefoot so rugs are a must and a need for me get yourself an office chair if you can I don't have one personally i should probably get one but i've just been mising it and delaying it but office chairs are really comfortable i know that the chairs that the rest provides and stuff can sometimes be really uncomfortable to sit on especially if you have like back problems or like joint problems etc i would say then you should buy um a comfortable office chair for yourself because they these are pretty like they're pretty rigid rigid structured chairs so if you're sitting on them you are sitting and you will feel that you're sitting there's no like comfort like oh my gosh and it's nice to spin on chairs sometimes you know spin and move your chair around it's a nice way to procrastinate etc etc <laughs> so i would highly highly advise you to get that if you can some of those things that i want it's purely a want you won't die if you don't have it and it's really expensive sometimes to get an office channel it's like thousands of rands so yeah if you can't get it now that's okay that's really okay and then also stuffed toys someone said stuffed toys. i'm saying things that people also said but stuffed toys i know i have stuffed toys i have three stuffed animals on my bed <laughs> i would like to get a big teddy bear i've been wanting and asking for one for the past three birthdays but it's okay it's fine it's okay you're really just sad actually if you think of it but it's okay it's okay so yeah like stuffed animals are really cute to have around like i don't know they're just really cute stuffed animals are cute oh they're just cute they're also a want 
a need for me but a want for everyone else get decor like get things that you can use to decorate your room whether it's stickers flowers pictures of family and friends yeah get a lot of pictures get a lot of pictures print pictures print pictures out and put them on your walls and everything they provide so much comfort personally they help me to um when i miss my family a lot like i can look at them and it gives me some comfort like it feels like oh my gosh you know like this warmth in having familiar things in your room um things that you are familiar with from home etc i think it helps with making you less homesick uh because imagine just being a full it don't, must not feel like a prison must, your room must not feel like a prison that is not how it's supposed to be like so it should feel like your room your place so make it feel like your home don't make it feel like it job it job just here to, to study study that no it's your home it's where you're gonna live for most part of the year even um especially if you're doing practicals or have a, a, de a degree where you're gonna have to be here more i know people go home sometimes because online classes but i know for me personally i spend most of my time here because school requires me to go to the hospital every day i can't afford to go home every single weekend because it's really far i don't live in pretoria so yeah that's basically that um i think i've covered everything that's basically everything, 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 everything that I was I wanted to cover. Oh, and also stationery. Please get yourself stationery and whiteboard markers. So normally I know with a lot of student accommodations, you do get a whiteboard. I know in some you don't, but sometimes you do. Once again, ask the people who are like the house committee or the, I don't know what other races call them or other accommodations call them, but like ask someone, the building coordinator, like, will i get a whiteboard etc etc and also ask if you're gonna live in a single room but i know with covid protocols now you get a single room in in our race everyone gets a single room there used to be like five double rooms in our race everyone else got single rooms but like there were five um rooms where people shared but now you don't because of covid so just find out about that whether you're going to be sharing are you going to be living alone etc etc because that also does determine how you're gonna you can't just do whatever you want to be living with someone <gasps> by the way i finally got my fairy lights i had broken my previous fairy lights that's also something you should get like decor like that like fairy lights i have that portrait picture i got for my birthday i have this other thingy that i got for my birthday last year and it looks really cute on the wall and then i have this other thing called dream big that's sitting on top of my mirror there you know a lot of things just just keep on keeping on and making your room feel you know like it should be when you get in you must be like wow i can't wait to go to my room like not even to sleep just to go relax in your room i love my room i love being in my room the past two years i've actually really enjoyed her like being in my room oh and before i forget get yourself curtains if you can um i think it really looks good it's nice to have curtains i know most places they have blinds on their windows so you don't really need them but i think it looks really good in my opinion it makes a place to look really um welcoming and home like like it gives it gives me home vibes mom hates kids like she didn't want me to put my curtains up i don't know why um but i think it looks really good i think my curtains really add a uh, Oh, anyway. I didn't have them in first year though, so that's why I'm like, it's not a, a need, you're not gonna die, you're not gonna feel empty inside if you don't have them, but they are really cool to have. Uh, but of course, when you're gonna get curtains, ask for the measurements, like how big the railings are in your wrist and what hooks they use so you can know what exactly to buy in order for them to be up there. Uh, then, yeah. But bring your clothes. I think we're all gonna bring clothes. But yeah, bring clothes. Don't bring a lot of um one thing i think i made a mistake of is having a lot of clothes for going out and not a lot of clothes for sitting in my room but that was covid's fault i, I blame it on covid because the initial plan was to go on campus every single day so i bought clothes for that but um buy a lot of comfortable clothes to sit in your room with and walk around dress with like nice jogger pants or sweat pants with sweaters and t-shirts and slides and all these things like comfortable clothes because now with covid you barely go to class or anything like that so the only time you get to dress up and show up is probably like for those few classes you're gonna get i know we starting to have some physical classes at some point but i know a lot of people still haven't come back like to physical classes but so the only time you'll ever wear clothes is like going out to whatever or doing something outside of rest with your friends or whatever um and that like it it happens but it doesn't happen as often as you being in your room get what i'm saying but i can't really tell you what to wear you know what you wear you know how you feel when you inside some people like dressing up even if they're in their room to kind of feel like yes they are going to school you know etc etc need food okay so food is a very food is a very it's, it's a broad a broad topic because it depends where you live it depends if you can cook for yourself it depends um what appliances you can have and also depends on your own diet as a person um so that's a very broad 
um, thing and I don't think you can really figure okay it took me a while to figure out what exactly I need in my groceries I still not I'm struggling but like my groceries change every year it changes like the list changes every single year no jokes first year grocery compared to the grocery I have now is not the same it's two very different things with food you're gonna have to find out what you're allowed to do in your rest and also just find out you as a person you might think yeah I'm gonna be making five um several colored meals every day all day and then you find out that you don't have enough time so then you have to buy more instant things etc etc so like i said it's a thing of like um with food it's your own journey it's your own personal journey and you're gonna have to just figure it out by yourself but you're gonna be okay and no? buy yourself a laptop etc it's really convenient to have your own laptop there's it labs and everything but yeah laptops are really nice to have it's nice to just be able to study in your room whenever and not have to um always depend on the on the facilities and stuff like that because you never know you never know when you'll get the surge of studying and sometimes you'll feel too lazy to wake up and go to that it lab there on the other side of race or whatever but it's also not a trade smash if you can't get a laptop there are facilities that are provided for you so it's just a matter of like if you can get it get it if you can't that's also okay yeah remember to bring your vitamins too remember to bring um paracetamol and all those things for yeah, you never know. Maybe you'll have a headache one day. Maybe you'll feel a bit sick one day. So just bring those few things. And now that's everything I can think of. If I think of anything more, I'll probably add it at the end of the video. Congratulations to all the matriculants of 2021. My sister was also part of that class. Um, I know you guys had a very weird period from 2020 since the pandemic until now. Um, but you guys made it. And I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are very... You are 2003 kids, most of you guys. It's just it's baffling because it's like, wow, it looks like you guys are never going to come to us too because you're so young. But really proud of you guys. And I wish you all the best with your new adventure, your new journey. Enjoy it. Savor every single moment. Um, take it all in. It's never going to come again. So make the most of it and make sure that you come back with experiences and make friends and open yourself up to new things because it's a new environment. It's a new chapter for you guys. But don't be scared. Um, look at it as a new opportunity to have a lot of new possibilities in life. Don't look at it as, oh my gosh, this big thing, I'm going to be on my own. Um, we all started like that. We all didn't just come here having everything figured out yet. Uh, we all had to make mistakes. So don't be too hard on yourself. But also know that just because you fall from your parents or your family doesn't mean that you don't have to rely on them. Um, yeah, and you'll meet a lot of people. And people in Boston, some of them are really nice. Like, I know in Pelletia, everyone is really nice. Everyone is willing to help. Everyone is willing to be a support system. So if you don't know, ask around. If you're struggling, say so. There's committees in all residences, and they're normally made for first years especially because most of us, by fourth year, I've figured it out. Honestly, I, I, I'm fine. I'm okay. <laughs> so most of the time, they're made for you guys to, to help you, to be there for you. So use them. If you're struggling with any Anything, they're really willing to i know in colizia whatever you struggle with whether it's personal academics etc there is a com there's a house committee member who will be able to help you in that um regard so yeah that is everything i had to say for my youtube video i'm gonna post the list at the end like i said so i almost forgot something yeah i almost forgot something buy extensions and plugs please extensions and ganglots of adapters because most of the rooms at rest only have one plug <laughs> And you don't want to, once again, be limited to putting your things only at one place because of where the plug is. So buy extensions, buy adapters because you get one plug. <laughs> so it's a, it's a, it's one plug, but we've got two things. I don't know what you call them. Two, three point plugs. It's one thing with two. Yeah, basically it's at one location in the room. So you have to buy extensions. I have, I have this long extensions and I had these other extensions back in first year. Um, so buy lots and lots of extensions because you're going to have a lot of appliances and a lot of things to plug, but you're going to only have one location that has a plug. And hopefully I will be coming with more content soon. Goodbye. <laughs>